Hello everyone, Chris back again on Being Unleashed. Welcome to the new format uh, for the channel and today I would like to finally address the thing which I've been cooking up for about uh, some time here. Yes, as you could read by the title, I got myself a Radeon 9070 XT. I finally did the push and actually switched to AMD after yapping about this since about 2020, maybe 2021 even, and only now in the big year of 2025 I've actually managed to pull the trigger and actually switch to Team Red for once. Yeah, a couple of reasons really, Nvidia right now is absolute garbage, RTX 40 is still overpriced and is past the gen, and RTX 50 is an absolute joke of a generation. It's basically Ada Lovelace just refreshed, having just a little more uh, higher clocks and some cores added to it, but the same uh, skimp when it comes to DRAM, uh, well VRAM really, plus you know the CUDA 32-bit deprecation, physics and so on, it's basically a nerfed product that even RTX 40 somehow is better than that thing. And it's basically just stagnation there. It's really sad to see that kind of thing. That's why I've actually pushed for the 9070 XT. I really wanted to give AMD a chance and see if everything is really gloomy and doomy here. And uh, this video is going to be basically an unboxing and actually installing the GPU into my system. Then afterwards I guess I'll do some gaming runs, might actually record some gameplay, maybe some Fortnite, maybe some Call of Duty, because I usually play just FPS shooters. Yeah, it's going to be the first time actually just uh, leaving the Nvidia ecosystem, because I've been using Shadowplay to create content for my channel. I've also been using their encoders for my streams and so on. So it's going to be interesting to see how AMD works around uh, this thing. So yeah, let's uh, cut the chase and let's actually jump where I finally install this thing. Also do an unboxing. Not sure if the quality is the best because I wasn't really looking at the footage, but yeah. Here we go, the unboxing and the installation. So boys, unfortunately I already uh, did uh, a bit of a preview for it, so I'll just have a box uh, like this. So here it is. Uh, yeah, this is how it's supposed to look like. Like this. Yeah, so here we go with the back plate. This one has a back plate like this, where you put it on the GPU. Yeah, so you just open it like this. Here's the back plate itself. And there it is. This is uh, the GPU. It's damn huge, let me tell you. Okay, so there it is. This is a Radeon 9070. This is how it looks like. It's got the Radeon, the light strip. Here's a Nitro right here. And also here's the thing, the 12 h power and also the ARGB. So yeah, this beefy thing right here is gonna go into my PC. Quite excited, not gonna lie. So yeah, I just have to peel off, I guess, this plastic. And also I got some accessories which I need to check out. So since it has 12 inch power, you actually get accessories which come in this box right here. So here's the cable. It's got like a blue tip, just for introducing to it three of these and uh, you also get the support bracket here it is sapphire and also the ARGB thing if you want to connect it uh, onto the motherboard from the fans there you go yeah that's how it goes Yeah, so this is the GPU. This is like my second PC, which I used to call it like work for me, you know. But uh, actually, since I plan to do like a dual PC setup, I'll be making this my gaming PC and the main PC is going to be for productions only. Yeah, so this is my old uh, 2070. And this uh, fellow right here served me well for about six years. But yeah, now it's gonna retire in order for uh, to make place for the 9070. So I'll just do this real quick. I'll also be hiding this cable right here. I'll be throwing it to the back. Now to remove the GPU itself, I'm just gonna unscrew these things real quick. Yeah, I'm going from a dual slot GPU to like a 4090 sized thing. So 
it's gonna be quite interesting to see it. Okay, now to remove this thing, just click right here and comes out. So this is my old 2070. This is RTX 2070. I mean, it should be right right here. Yeah, there it is. RTX 2070. Okay, now to turn this thing around. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm telling you, it's quite heavy. Now I have to remove like this metal back plate so I can access, you know, the stuff which I need to do. Yeah, it's quite annoying to remove this side panel, not gonna lie, but it does the job, so I don't really need to complain. So here I have a spinny boy, and this is how I usually like to call them. And here are the, I guess, power cables, you can call them. I have to actually make some space, so I might as well just remove everything. Yeah, so I got uh, ready two of them right here, and one was for the 2070. Actually, that is quite a huge jump, not gonna lie, from 2070 up to uh, 9070. So yeah, that's, that's quite a huge jump, not gonna lie. Right, so here are the necessary cables, you need three of these. Since this power supply is old, I'll be using the adapter. Of course, I have to do some muscle. So, uh, yeah, part of the cable mess, of course. I nearly tore my thing down. So I need to empty another slot. Uh, I have to unscrew another thing. I never actually unscrewed this one, so it's gonna be quite fresh. Come on, here we go. And I remove it. I have to introduce this GPU. Uh, first, beforehand, I need to introduce the 12 gauge power. Kind of love how it fits with my gloves. Yeah, so here it is. I had to do it a bit of camera so you can see. You should insert it so you don't see the blue marks. As you can see, it's fully inserted. Even looking for here. Yeah, this is how it's going, like this. So I'll have to route it somehow like this behind the PC so it can fit. Now to actually introduce uh, this uh, big girthy boy, I'll have first to do it like this. I have to do the adapters. Yeah, now it should fit. Ah, would you look at this, a 9070. Actually, it's not that heavy. It can hold on its own. I mean, I could go without using the bracket because it kind of looks all right. So it looks like it won't fit using the upper grommet, so I'll have to go with the below ones. Ah, great, I guess I'll have to somehow fix uh, the mess the cables made. But yeah, so we need to secure this thing, which I'll do like real quick, because I've been letting sit it like this. So you can just, oh snap, <laughs> my screwdriver doesn't fit. Okay, uh, yes, now I need to pull out the other screwdriver, so. So boys, since it didn't fit, I think I'm gonna use just this extender right here. This is what's supposed to secure it. So I'll just use it like this. Okay, let's try it one more time. It should fit now, hopefully. There you go, and just holds. And now to remove the plastics actually. So you just take this black plate right here, and just slap it like this. No cables, I fucking love this. But now we actually have to do the cables. So here comes the fun part. I have to do this diary right here. I hope it fits. Hope it fits, perhaps. I mean, I have that metal back plate, which is gonna be quite annoying, but I'll try to do it somehow. I'll just take this diary and slap it inside here. Thankfully, I only got a single mechanical driving one, as I like to call it a spinny boy. So I just have a single one, so that shouldn't be huge for a problem. Yeah, no tensions on this other side, I have to check on that other side. It's actually proving to be quite hard to install with this adapter, let me tell you. So, here's the second. I'm gonna try to fit them like this, so they sit flush, so you can just push it with the metal backplate, so you could hold like this. This case sucks, by the way, boys. If you want to buy this trash of a case, I highly don't recommend you to. It's outdated and it's fucking annoying. I'm gonna check once again on the 12 gauge power. And the 12 gauge power is fine, boys, so we are good. Yes, we include an ARGB cable. I think I could just run it under the GPU and just stick it 
from here or from here. So I do not open, you know, this diarrhea right here. So I'll switch it up again. There you go. Yeah, these magnets aren't fucking around. They are very strong. All right, since it's connected, I can just push it through here, through this hole. I'm gonna push it through the back. I'm not gonna turn the camera because it's very, very fucking annoying. There you go. Yeah, only now it actually managed to sit. That is absolutely clean. And yeah, this is how you insert the GPU. Now I just have to put on the glass back and that is it. So yeah, boys, now I'll fire up the PC and just have the first reactions of how it works. Pardon the mess. I just have to do it quick and dirty so I can see if the GPU works. So yeah, this is when I'm gonna boot up my PC for the first time with AMD Radio. Let's see what's up. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of smooth though. I like how it looks. And let's see. Who would have thought it actually works? Yeah, everything is fine. Now with AMD. And the app, and that is basically it. I've installed it in my system and it works. Nothing blew up, nothing surprising there. You just insert the GPU and it works. Everyone was saying like, yeah, this is the worst thing to ever happen. You know, AMD graphics are so garbage. They are really unoptimized. They have driver issues. Yet I just plugged it in. I had to wait about two minutes for the Windows itself to download the drivers. Then just fired up fine. Then I just go to Windows, I change the resolution, the refresh rate to what I had. It just works. I have to check out, you know, the Radeon uh, software. I have to enter there and actually study it a bit. Because, again, I've been just using Shadowplay and GeForce Experience. I know now, right now it's called NVIDIA app or something. I've been using that since 2015, since I ever started doing content on Gaming Zone. And I have to research this thing and see what's up. So far I'm pretty impressed, it actually looks better than whatever NVIDIA was doing there. So far I actually tried a bit of Fortnite and it ran fine. I mean, the usual Unreal Engine starters are there, cause you know, they have to always compile shaders on the run, which is very very fucking annoying. But yeah, that is pretty much it when it comes to switching to AMD. Pretty painless. Alright, it's voiceover Chris time and actually I've managed to squeeze in uh, some benchmarks, let's call them like this. So I got myself aligned uh, the stats for the PC which I'm currently using. I'm sorry for the Call of Duty one, it's very small but in Fortnite I've actually managed to fix it. So here is a benchmark for Call of Duty Black Ops. As you can see the card is working just fine, I have no issues. These are on the latest drivers, apparently these are called once again a fine wine moment. Because with the launch drivers, uh, the FPS was lower. And with this new adrenaline version, it actually is a bit higher. But I usually just play on medium settings in Black Ops, because I don't really like uh, my FPS to fall, let's say, below 100. So yeah, this is a benchmark. Here is also some gameplay which I recorded on it. Now with Fortnite, I have to say this, Unreal Engine is trash. Like, I straight up hate this engine because it's a stuttery mess. It keeps on generating uh, these shaders on the fly. This is why this card has been struggling to actually run it. During the gameplay, as you could see, it had like heavy, heavy stutters. That's because it's compiling shaders on the fly. And that actually hits the CPU, which as you could see by the upper corner, it says 5950X. If I had an X3D, I think it wasn't stuttering as hard as you could see it right here. But because it's a standard one, it has heavy stutters. Even by the end game, which somehow surprisingly, I got a dub on this one. Even by the end game, it was still struggling and still compilating shaders for some unknown reason. <laughs> So yeah, I'll have a standalone Unreal Engine rant, I think, over on Gaming Zone, but until then, I hope you enjoy the, these benchmarks, and now let's go back to Chris to wrap up this, uh, let's say, transition to AMD video. So everybody, this is the end of uh, this uh, video in particular. I hope you enjoyed uh, this new style which I come around. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to throw a thumbs up and also subscribe to see more, I guess, uh, being unleashed stuff. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. As always, stay on edge. And catch you in the next one.